guys? Aquaman here back with another video today here to give y'all another new series. This is going to be my second series on the channel. This one I'm going to dub Mixtape Mondays. Mixtape Mondays is where I go over uh, mixtapes that come out, uh, what I think of them, you know, how I feel they affect the artist's career, uh, and generally how good are they. Uh, this time we're going to be overing over a mixtape uh, by or an EP by Busy Banks. Uh, quick, you know, five, six song project. Uh, Busy Banks, of course, is a prominent drill rapper from Brooklyn. Uh, super solid. Uh, came through with uh, the Don't Start series and has just been taken off ever since. But let's get into this album, though. Off rip, talking about the writing, uh, Busy Banks, uh, for me, has always been one of the best punchline rappers in drill. I really, really enjoy his punchlines, and definitely that was present on a lot, a lot of songs, uh, especially, I want to say, Top 5 and No Phase. There was a lot, a lot of really good uh, punchlines and enjoyable lyrics uh, that I got to pull from here. But even on Top 5, which was cool, uh, there was a bit more introspection and a bit more, like, uh, revealing of how intense the uh, drill rap, uh, drill lifestyle is and how intense the gangster lifestyle is in general. And this is something that I'm going to make a, a video on later, but I think it's really important that artists make it known uh, that the lifestyle that they live is not easy and is not, you know, is never something that is chosen. And I, I'm always going to jive with that message, right? Overall, I'm going to give the writing a great. Uh, in terms of the production uh, and creativity, I'm going to give it a good. Uh, it's not exactly super out of the box or anything like that. It's just standard drill beats, but I do enjoy drill beats. Um, also, it wasn't really a step out of the box for Busy Banks. You know what I'm saying? He's been sticking with a certain sound for a while, and he just kind of kept that sound. So still, the sound is very good, of course. And so, uh, uh, you know, you got to give him props for that. Really enjoyed the soundscape, but... Uh, like I said, it wasn't there. There wasn't anything super, super crazy. That's why it doesn't get anything higher than a good. But overall, like I said, production and creativity solid. In terms of the flows, uh, I've never been like super impressed by any pockets uh, from Busy Banks, uh, but he does carry a solid flow on him. I really enjoy the way that he uses his flows to enhance certain punchlines. That's always been a really, really great thing to me. But, um, and of course, an enjoyable flow to listen to, but like I said, uh, not anything crazy or extreme. So I'm just gonna, you know what I'm saying? Solid flows, let me give it a good. Uh, musical execution, great. You know what I'm saying? Musical execution, great. Really, really enjoyed the choruses on this one. Uh, really, really enjoyed the topics that he was delving into on songs like Top 5. Uh, and really enjoyed just the consistent soundscape of the entire record. Was really happy with that. Um... Uh, and I had a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to be re-listening to a lot of these songs. Um, and of course, you had Don't Start 2, which is one of DeBizzy's biggest songs, one of his most iconic songs. Uh, and so, yeah, really enjoyed just the whole soundscape of the record. And like I said, short but solid. Track for track, it was super, super consistent. This is one of the reasons I really like shorter records is because there's not as many t opportunities to mess up, right? And so overall, mes musical execution was really great. I definitely expect to have this in my rotation. So yeah, with that being said, this is the first episode of Mixtape Mondays. Let me know what y'all think of the record if y'all gave it a listen. And have a good day, y'all. Peace.